best skincare routine is about having a good diet. Sugar and dairy are the biggest reasons why people break out and get pimples. Some people tend to react towards dairy a bit more sensitive than others. I Me, mean, for example, I would have to eat a loads of dairy products in order to, for me to get breakouts. However, sugar, if I eat like really a bit of sugar, I immediately get pimples. So it is very individual and that's why I'm working on a course where I'm, I'm going to be able to give you, you know, one-on-one -on -one coachings, one-on-one -on -one feedback. I, I'm going to be able to give you personalized tips on how you can improve this and that. And yeah, guys, it's going to launch soon. With that being said, adios, amigo. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Bye-bye. Uh, Donda fucking rhymes needs to be put under federal fucking investigation because the sorcery that she's doing to these Bridgerton men needs to be studied once again. Season three is about to be here, so we just need to look at these insane transformations because I think that she's holding up your paychecks in front of your faces and saying that if you do not glow up, I'm going to rip your shit. Prime example one, we have Anthony Bridgerton, and let me just say that these men were never ugly at all, honestly, but just take a good look at season one, uh, Anthony, okay? Very much meh, very much these mutton chops are looking very, um, interesting then this is season two like what is this did this man all of a sudden like get jaw surgery i don't know like is this the same guy like how is this even possible the only person that i won't be shocked when it comes to a transformation would have to be benedict because that man has always been beautiful and if he gets any more hotter i feel like i just might implode honestly now we have to look at colin because this guy's transformation is just the most insane here is the season one and season two Colin Bridgerton that we know. Not ugly, but nothing to look twice at, you know? And then we have this. It's like he has the bold glamour filter on. How is this man real? Like, honestly, how is this possible? There's something going on. There's sorcery at play here. Some people might call it the black girlfriend touch, but I call it sorcery. Sorcery and a threat to a fat paycheck. How did I go from this? glow up you want to have a glow up trust me i'm the girl that you want to talk to i've had the biggest glow up in the last six months and i'm not here to boast but also i don't even know her okay she is dead to me i don't want to know her i don't talk about her anymore um no i've definitely just toned up a lot i feel like my skin is glowier my hair is more healthy and then like mentally i'm happier i'm more in control i'm more confident i know what i want I'm just a well-rounded version of myself. I'm still growing. I'm st I'm still always evolving and becoming better. But this is, I'm here to tell you what works, okay? And what I've done. Okay, we're going to start really simple. Water. Drinking, drinking, drinking lots of water. And I know that sounds really silly, but a lot of us forget to, especially in the colder months. Um, so I just make sure to carry my water bottle around with me. I know we all do it. This is a roughly one liter, so I try to drink three a day. Everything's better with my water, my skin, my energy, a lot of things. So we'll start simple, lots and lots of water. Number two is journaling. Now, for someone who doesn't journal, trust me, I understand it's really hard. But guys, especially if you're struggling mentally, getting that shit down on paper, okay? Get it out of your head. Because what I can almost like 100% guarantee, it's never as bad once we put it down on paper. Especially anxiety, it tends to build up and we, try, we tend to make up scenarios that aren't even real. Um, journaling, writing it down, like even just writing every single morning, what I've been doing is five gratitudes, five affirmations. And if I feel like I've got something heavy, I just try and journal about it and come up with some kind of a solution or just like do like write it down and be like, okay, actually, you know what? I'm way more in control of the situation than I thought I was. Um, so five affirmations, five gratitudes every single morning. Um, but also if you feel like you've got something going on, please guys, I know it's such a, like it's hard task sometimes, but try and journal about it. The third thing is 10,000 steps a day. I can very easily do this because I live by the beach and I'm the sunny Gold Coast. I understand it's not possible for everyone, but if you can get outside and get some steps in, trust me, you guys, there's times where I'm sitting in my house and I feel like shit, right? As soon as I get out and I have the fresh air and I'm strutting down the boardwalk, 
I'm a different person. And 10,000 steps, you guys, are just so, so great. Um, first of all, for digestion, my bloating is so much better, um, but also it's just so good for you. So good for your body to make sure you're step, like still walking. I'm pretty sure that's one of the things that keep us the youngest, if we could just keep on moving. So I try to do that. I do 10,000 minimum a day. And I break that up. So if I haven't done my 10,000, I'll just do another walk in the afternoon. It's so good for you. Thing, well, the fourth thing is happy podcasts. I have tried to do the personal development podcast. They're just not for me. So podcasts that make me laugh and I put them on. And if I'm in a bad mood, <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm having a laugh. And that just, serotonin is boosted, okay? So happy hours, Lucy and Nikki. One of the greats, um, Inspire Un those are my two, Inspired Unemployed, The Girls' Bathroom, Sophia and Chintzia. They have me cackling, okay? And on instantly, mood is boosted. Mood is through the roof when I'm listening to one of those. I remember when I took this video, I thought, a year from now, I'm going to be so different. I said, I will it's a hundred It's a hundred niggas in a spot. I won't keep going. It's 85. Unexpected like a mixtape, catch you at your crib if you read this, it's too late. Wanna chop at a nigga? Now you running like a track race. Mm. Catch a nigga while you waiting on his dinner, cut his head off, leave his ass with a full plate. Mm. Nigga talk a shit, put the metal to him now, now I call his ass brace face. Mm. Yo, bitch, up for grabs like a sweet steak, and I eat her ass like a cheesecake. Mm. Now we back to my place, bust on her face with my nut like a toothpaste. Mm. Unexpected like a mixtape, catch you at your crib if you read this, it's too late. Mm. Wanna chop at a nigga? Now you running like a track race. Mm. Catch a nigga while you waiting on his dinner, cut his head off, leave his ass with a full plate. Mm. Nigga talk a shit, put the metal to him now. Now I call his ass brace face. Mm. Hey, yo, bitch, up for grabs like a sweet steak, and I eat her ass like a cheesecake. Mm. Now we back to my place, bust on her face with my nut like a toothpaste. Mm. And all the girlies say I'm pretty fly for a white girl. <laughs>
How did I go from this to this?